Crystal Canyon by Woodside Homes in the Red Point Village. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I'm taking a tour of Crystal Canyon by Woodside Homes. There are two collections in this community. Collection one has three single story floor plans to choose from. And collection two has three two story floor plans to choose from. Today I'm taking a tour of collection one. Yay! <laughs> and there's two homes that are modeled, so I think I will be able to get this all under one video, just showing you what the homes look like in this awesome new community. Now, a little more information about Crystal Canyon, that it's gated. The SIDS are $456 semi-annually or $912 for the year, and the remaining balance is a little over $13,000. Awesome, right? <laughs> so we're going to take a tour of the two models that are available, which is the Vistas Plan 2 and the Mesa Plan 3. As I go through the tour, I will um, explain pricing and the bedroom options and square footage. I just wanted to do a quick introductory about this awesome community. And Red Point is located right off of Far Hills and the 215. It is one of the newest, I mean, absolute newest village in Summerlin. And a side note, if you're thinking about buying a brand new home, you need your own real estate agent to represent you during your first visit, during the whole entire transaction. And I've done numerous videos on that, so I don't need to go into detail about why you need me as your agent to represent you, right? Nah. <laughs> so let's go see what these models look like. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I am at Crystal Canyon by Woodside Homes over here in the Red Point Village, the newest village in Summerlin. And we're gonna take a tour of two model homes today. We're touring collection one, which only has three single story floor plans to choose from, but only two are modeled. And a little about this community is that this is part of the Summerlin West community here in Summerlin. The HOA is $115 a month. 87 of that goes to Cascades, while the other 48 goes to Summerlin West. Now here in collection one, there are about 79 home sites and they've already sold 10. The interesting thing about this collection is they all actually come with two bedrooms and a flex space. And the flex space is where you can actually make it into the third bedroom if you like. Um, two of the ones that are modeled are in the 1800 square foot range and then they have a smaller model called the Calico Plan 1 that is 1650 square feet. Right now I'm going to take a tour of the Vista Plan and the starting price is at 456 990 1800 square feet. Comes with 10 foot ceilings. Eight foot doors. Oh, that's a surprise. I like that. Very cool. Very, very cool. Very private. Um, what else? There are 79 units in collection one and then 87 in collection two. I really like this. I like that door. And they have sold already 10 units as of today, which is December 22nd, 2020. And now this is the base price. That price could change by the time you watch this video. Oh my gosh, I really like this. 
So this home comes with two to three bedrooms, two and a half baths, a flex space, and a covered patio. And this I would imagine is the flex space where you can make it your third bedroom. And then you have another bedroom that has its own bathroom, beautiful tile. Hello. Very nice. I really like this openness and the kitchen is beautiful. With another half bath. Oh, that's neat. Very neat. And a nice size pantry. And the cabinets are interesting. Never seen cabinets that look like that, but I love, 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 love this herringbone. Beautiful. So let's take a view of the entire downstairs, or only one stairs, actually. Beautiful. The microwave and oven. Island with the quartz countertops and the sink in the middle. And I especially love this black sink. Beautiful. This is my kind of home. I like the black natural wood, wood accents, white, very beautiful. Oh, wow. Honeycomb, black and white tiles, beautiful laundry room. Now this is interesting that there's only a dryer here. So I would imagine, oh yeah, that you would have a stackable washer and dryer in here. And then the master. Now, as I mentioned in previous videos, somebody's here. The bedroom and the great room are the only rooms that come pre-wired. And if you want the can lighting, then that would be extra. And then the primary bedroom bathroom. Very nice. The his and her sinks, the hers and her sinks. And then they also did a very large shower. I don't know if I like this quartz with the color cabinets. It looks too, I don't know, dark. And a nice walk-in closet. So I am taking a tour of the Mesa Plan 3, which is 1828 square feet. Base price is $464,990, and this is just the base price. By the time you see this video, the pricing may change. Now, if you do want to add any updates, you will have to figure, they say around 10 to 15% extra to put up all the upgrades. And I really like this little patio. Now, it would be better if they had this covered so it's a little more private. Otherwise, this door does not make any sense to me. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's going on here. Which one is the front door and which is this door? What is this door? It's interesting. Is this the front door? I guess so. Huh. Let's see what this is all about. Again, 1828 square feet. 
two to three bedrooms, two and a half to three bathrooms, a flex place space, and a covered patio and a two bay garage. As you walk in, you have the half bath right there. And then you have this whole floor plan, which is interesting. Not a fan of this wood color. It reminds me of the early 2000s and 90s, but it's a great layout. Let's see, let's get a better view. Now, as I mentioned in previous videos, if you want additional can lightings, it may not come. And the master and great room is pre-wired for a ceiling fan. And if you want a ceiling fan in the other bedrooms, that would cost an additional charge. Now, when you're buying a model home, obviously they only include certain features. It does come with granite or quartz, however, it comes with the basic package, and if you want anything prettier, you definitely want to upgrade it. And in this home, they have two cabinet options. This is an upgrade as well. And also to think about when you buy a new home, the kitchen and what areas are tiled, however, the rest of the house is carpeted. And who wants carpeting? I can't stand carpeting. If it were me, I would spend the extra money to update your flooring and to update your kitchen. The wow factor, you know, and whatever's left over, spending on the primary bathroom. I like this pantry. Very nice. Let's see what's going on here. And this is a very small bedroom. Eh. It's okay, it's still kind of small for a secondary. I do like this quartz with the white cabinets. Very nice, full bathroom. Let's see what else we got here. Maybe that's why they had that door open so people wouldn't get confused as if it was a garage. And here's the laundry room with the sink. And nine times out of 10, this is an extra cost. Let me see if I, oh, okay. Okay. And here is the primary bedroom. Finally got that right. It's gonna take me a very long time to get that correct. Very nice very good size. I like that wood wall. And this one also has a door to the backyard. The lot sides are pretty small in the 4,000 square foot. And the lot premiums are between 5,000 to 45,000, depending on the view, depending on where your home is located. And this is an interesting tile option with very large. I like that. But for me, I think this is a little too much. I am not a fan of this extremely huge shower. Just not a, yeah. I think cut it in half, two people can still fit in it and get a nice tub. Us women, we still like taking baths, okay? I don't like this tile. It's a very interesting choice. And a very good size master. Overall, not bad layout, but I don't know where the flex room would be. Oh, I see. They opened that other door. There's other people in here, but that's interesting. Hmm. Okay. So I just found out that this is a separate room. Oh, this is nice that this could be uh, a casita or mother-in-law suite that has its own separate bathroom. I actually like that, that's cool. So the end, the main house has two bedrooms and then make this into a little casita. That's a great idea, I think. Very nice.
I wanted to go over the features of this home and collection one. However, it started getting busy in there, so I thought I'd just come in my car and go over what's included in the collection one for Crystal Canyon by Woodside Homes. Uh, 10 foot ceilings throughout, eight foot two panel square top interior doors, 18 by 18 ceramic tile flooring in the entry, kitchen and bathrooms, and two tone interior paint with multiple color selections, chrome door hardware and lever handles, designer selected chrome light fixtures, rounded drywall corners, windows designed for maximum natural lighting, convenient laundry room with gas dryer hookup. In the kitchen comes with the Delta Touch 2.0 pull down kitchen faucet with voice IQ, pretty cool. Um, Watts water filtration system, quartz or granite kitchen countertops with a four inch backsplash. Now you gotta think with that four inch backsplash, that kind of looks tacky, so if it were me, I would not do that and I would add my own personal touch and backsplash, okay? Um, maple cabinetry with 42 inch uppers and three inch crown moldings and two color selections. Now with cabinets, I mean, you have to see what the two colors are. However, if it were me, I would stick to the tried and true classic white cabinets, white shaker cabinets, black shaker cabinets, even navy cabinets look awesome. But you know, no one's liking the wood anymore and that's outdated. So you wanna pick a color option that's going to stand the test of time and last throughout the decades, right? Food for thought on that. Comes with a kitchen island with an overhang in each plan, stainless steel under mount sink, and then the stainless steel appliances are included, which is a GE 30 inch cooktop, GE single wall open oven, GE built-in microwave, GE hood over top, cooktop and then a GE multi-cycle dishwasher so it's good that all the appliances are consistent now if you do want um, the refrigerator wash and dryer are not included obviously that's something that you'd have to add yourself it's pre plum for a ice maker and reverse osmosis which is awesome and it has the walk-in shower at master bath easy care fiberglass tub shower at all secondary baths um, adult height vanity at master, solid surface vanity with rectangular undermount sink in all the bath, uh, dual sinks in the master, frame mirrorless medicine cabinet in all the full bathrooms, and full size vanity mirrors in all full bathrooms, private water closet for the master bath, and then elongated toilets in all baths, delta chrome faucets and accessories in all baths, and pedestal sink in the powder. Now for me, and that's just personal preference. I'm tired of chrome. I like black matte fixtures. It looks so sharp. Um, it comes with a 14 sear Linux air conditioning unit, tankless water heater, which is awesome. Dual glazed E vinyl, low E vinyl windows, radiant barrier roof sheathing, programmable digital thermostat, um, water efficient plumbing fixtures, ceiling fan pre-wired at master and great room which I mentioned in the video and it's pre-wired for phone and cat six at master and kitchen um, pre-wired for cable and master and great room and USB outlet in designated areas and a 20 200 amp electrical panel so again all other options is an upgrade and as I mentioned in the video that it costs around 10 to 15 to make the home look nice now the base prices that I mentioned are just base prices and could change any day just because of how well the new home market is selling. Anyways, if you like this video, if you have any comments, questions about this awesome collection, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112. As always, if you like this video, you know what to do, right? hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and subscribe, come on, subscribe. I'm hoping you're enjoying this uh, model home tours that I'm doing, it's something new. I'm, I really don't do them that often just because I'm not too good at it, but as I do more of them, hopefully I will get better. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you guys on the next one.